Oh, he's sold! The Oricalcos claims yet another victim. I can only imagine the trouble Kaiba must be having. Yes! Take them all down, my blue eyes! Oh, man. First I get a free car, and now I can summon a real blue eyes to fight on my behalf even when I'm not playing a card game. The only way this day could get any better is if Joey Wheeler somehow lost his soul. Hey, bro, there's still a few Oricalco soldiers left. Well, you know what they say. If at first you don't succeed, then you're probably not Seto fucking Kaiba. One of the finest men I've ever met. I shall never forget the time when he said, Yeah. Pharaoh, he said that like a million times. And that is why I won't forget it. You guys pick him up. I'm gonna go stretch my legs real quick. Then I'll help out. Okay, Taya, you grab that side okay, and I'll yeah, just I get this now, part just with... did, did he just friggin' ditch us? Taya, the Pharaoh would never abandon us like that. Suckers, consider yourselves ditched. Like I'd ever be seen carrying another person. Not in a Years. And from the looks of things, someone is already on their way down to challenge me. But I'm ready, and nothing is going to stop me from getting to darts. My! I saw what you did to Joey. It's time to wait. Hold on. I'm very flattered, my, but I never make love before a card game or after. The ideal time for lovemaking is during one. I wonder which floor I'm being taken to. Well, if every other anime in existence has taught me anything, most of the drama tends to happen on the roof. You claim to have a high opinion of your friend, and yet you couldn't even be bothered to carry her up here with you. What's wrong? Can't spare a shoulder to lean on? My shoulders are for two things only. Rolling them seductively at my opponents to confuse them during card games, and glancing backwards over them at my friends in a dramatic fashion. Not for carrying people. I wouldn't be seen dead carrying anybody. Fitting, then. As once I'm done dueling you, you won't be seen doing it alive, either. Technically, I've not been alive for several thousand years. Duel! Uh, oh, yes, duel. When we catch up to the Pharaoh, I'm gonna give him a piece of my ass! Don't you mean mine? I know what I said, Tristan! Seto, stop the car! It's Taya and Tristan! Fine. Mokuba, what are you guys doing here? Just my luck. Dorkfest continues. Actually, Dorkfest is in October. Oh no! Look! Darts has hilariously possessed an army of rats in an attempt to subdue us! Holy shit on a sh sandwich, except hold the sh Careful, you almost dropped Joey. We gotta get to safety. Also, don't tell anybody about how I just touched Joey, okay? This fire escape will be a good place to not talk about touching Joey. We have to find the Pharaoh before those rats do! Good idea, Taya! Look, can everyone just stop talking about how I touched Joey? Get over it already! It was one time! So anyway, where was I? Oh yes! I sacrifice my shitty, stupid Jack's Knight to summon the fabulous Karibo Brothers! Behold, as they cavort about in their entertaining manner! How am I even watching? That's a good cavorting, Karibo Brothers! Now, combine to form Karibabalon! Do the la 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 Okay, now I think I understand why you don't respect your cards. Most of them are f***ing ridiculous. Let's hope we're not too late to see Raphael inevitably activate the SEAL OF ARICALCOS! Jeez, Taya, way to jinx it. I intend to keep all of my monsters outside the graveyard for this entire duel. Uh, the GY. What? It's called the GY now. Why did they do that? It saves space for text on the cards. I didn't even know these things had text. Yes, yeah, soon they'll be abbreviating all the commonly used dueling terms. Imagine how ridiculous that would be. Now I S my KBs and send them to the GY in order to TS Curry Bandit to my side of the F. R -R 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 -R. And with that, I'm fairly certain that we've exhausted every variation on that joke. Oh, I see what's going on. This whole duel is a metaphor for your inability to accept that your family is dead. What? Yeah, see, you refuse to let any of your monsters go to the GY because you believe preserving the memory of your family as you knew them in life will make you stronger. When in actual fact, you are denying yourself the chance to mourn, and as a result, you've rooted your 
yourself in the past, never allowing yourself to move on from that tragic day when you were forced to replace your dead family with trading cards. You have no idea what you're talking about, Pharaoh. No, I actually really do. Accepting the mortality of those around you is an important step to becoming a more complete person. Just ask Kaiba. Why, just last season, he literally murdered his own father in order to move on. It's true. I highly recommend it. A plus experience. It even worked for Mokuba. I miss Noah. Mokuba, you and your imaginary friends. You are reading way too much into this duel. These cards are not my family. In that case, you won't mind if I use my dark magician with my legendary dragon Timaeus in order to destroy Guardian Iatos. Mommy, no! I mean... Guardian Iatos, no. Raphael, if it helps, just think of this duel as an elaborate and extremely painful therapy session. No charge. Say hello to my Guardian Dreadscythe. By the novelly knees of Ramses. What being of purest edge is this? No, it's got a scythe. The deadliest farming implement known to man. Dreadscythe, destroy his dark magician girl. I activate magic. Magical pigeons! Ah! Magical pigeons! No one's ever been able to activate him! I can't believe Yugi risked using magical pigeons. I mean, Exodia is one thing, but magical pigeons? Is he insane? Magical pigeons turns Dark Magician Girl into a pigeon. And then next turn, she changes back. But for now... She's a magical pigeon. Wait, how long ago did all of this happen? I don't know, three or four years? But Kaiba didn't invent the dual disc as we know it until season two of this show. How is there just a bunch of random ass dual discs buried in this random ass graveyard? Random ass GY. Don't you start. Just in time for me to activate Monster Reborn and bring back your Guardian Iatos on my side of the field. Mommy, no! I thought I was your favorite. I mean... That sure is a trading card you summoned. I clearly have no personal attachment to it. I combine Joey's Hermos with my Queen's Knight to form Goddess Bow. This gives Iatos enough attack power to combat your Dread Scythe. And every time she attacks, you are forced to lose card after card in order to protect yourself. Say farewell to your guardian Iatos as she carries all of your internal pain into the heavens with her. This heavy-handed metaphor was brought to you by... Da, a subsidiary of Doi Incorporated. You're right, Pharaoh. And now all that remains is for me to activate Soul Charge to summon all my monsters back from the graveyard. The GY. Depleting me of all my remaining life points in the process. Raphael, no! What are you doing? I know. The seal of Arakalkos will take my soul. But... I'm ready now. No, not that. I'm upset because you didn't let me make the finishing move. That's total BS, man. And after I lost to you before and everything. Mom. I mean, monster card. Okay, this is also total BS. When I came back from the dead, I didn't get a chorus of heavenly music and a light show. My monsters, they've all returned to me in my final moments. You know, I'm just glad that my family wasn't here to see me join a cult that tried to murder everybody. Raphael! We saw everything! Oh dear. But don't worry, we won't judge you. We'll leave that to God! Mother, father, I don't have the words to say how grateful I am. So instead, I'll just say, Zug Zug. Raphael, what in Osiris's name gives here? Why aren't you screaming and convulsing in agony? Maybe because Raphael was able to accept the flaws within himself, the Orichalcos spared him. Or maybe the real seal of Orichalcos was the friends we made along the way. God damn it! I knew that girl's friendship speeches were gonna kill me one day! This is why I hate coming to San Francisco! Mr. Kaiba, we're here to retrieve you! Look, it's one of my many omnipresent flying helicopters. Everybody get on board before we get totally smushed! Roland, inform all the other passengers to stop talking about how I touched Joey. Where's Pharaoh? Better not tell anyone I did this for you, alright? Because if I hear even one word about you... I can see my pyramid from here! Why, the Egyptian reference of some other Egyptian reference! Raphael, what are you doing? Take this! That'll take you to darts. 
Pharaoh. I'm sorry I misjudged you, but more than anything, I'm sorry for beating you in a children's card game. Well, you know, we really don't need to bring that up right now. I mean, I really owned you. It wasn't even close. Raphael, can we please move on from- Just a very one-sided duel, really. I probably could have won with one hand tied behind my- ah! Oh no! Raphael! Come back! We came back for you! Quick, jump on board! I'm just here for the food! <laughs> Raphael, I can't believe I lost my shoulder virginity to you. Look, guys! Darts' headquarters collapsed and there's something else on the inside! It looks like the evil building was hiding another, even more evil building inside itself. What a random and super unnecessary plot twist. Hey, look! Something's moving down there. It's a good thing I'm so buff or that fall would have killed me. I don't care, Jimmy Crack Corn, and I don't care! Well, if you don't care, then please stop bloody telling us about it. Ma'am, don't be ruining my flow. Your flow is of no concern to me. I simply wish for you to shut your mouth hole before I nail it shut. I'm afraid Er uh, is right. His flow is very important. Like a on the moon, our flow is the only thing that separates us from the wildlife. Like a mouse. The moon wildlife. Like a mouse. Well, we're not on the moon right now, are we? That can be arranged. Was that supposed to be a threat? Okay, somebody else, please, talk to me. Now. Why so glum, Bacora? Oh, gee, I don't know. Maybe it's because this is the millionth bloody council meeting we've had. And somehow, somehow I just know it's going to be about as productive as all the others. That is to say, not at all. Oh, come now, Bacora. I think these meetings are very productive. How do you work that out? Well, during our last meeting, I was finally able to resurrect my dead wife, Cecilia, with a little help from my good friend, Teddy. You're welcome. You resurrected your wife? Say hello to the nice man, Cecilia. Brains! Um, charmed to meet you. Brains! Doesn't she seem a little different, Pegasus? Well, now that you come to mention it, she has taken to eating brains all the time. And that strikes you as odd, I suppose. Well, yes. She used to be a vegan. What a dork. Yeah, <laughs> vegetables suck. Look, will all of you please cease this foolishness? In a few moments, Maddox is going to get here, and then believe me, there will be plenty of idiocy to go around. No doubt he'll concoct yet another plan that will result in our running off on some fool's errand in order to rearrange Yugi's sock drawer or something. I really don't know why I even bother coming. After all, Marek is and always will be a total... Yes! A total what? Uh, oh. Hello, um, Melvin? Fancy meeting you here. Actually, I think we were all rather expecting Marek. Oh, really? Are you disappointed? I believe terrified would be more appropriate. Oh, this is what Marek does on the weekends, is it? Impressive. I never knew he had it in him. A council of the most ruthless villains known to man. Together we could rule the world. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we're gonna rule. I already rule. <laughs> I rule. <laughs> you don't rule, Weevil. I ruled your mom last night. Shut up, ass munch. That was your mom. And it was me doing the ruling. <laughs> Damn it, Rex! Silence! silence! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I said silence! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you have any idea what the word silence means? Um... <laughs> No. It means stop talking! Oh uh, yeah, I knew that. So, so when, when I say silence, you cease making noise or I will cease it for you. <laughs> okay. Let's give it a test run, shall we? Silence! Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, that tears it. And by it, I mean your spinal column. Thank you, drive through. Ah! Oh god, this sucks! Whoa. That was cool. Typical. You bring together some of the finest criminal minds in the world and you can't even accomplish something as trivial as mass murder. So what have you been doing all this time? Well, first we trolled Yugi's YouTube account and then... We... We, uh... We haven't really gotten much done. At all. Then I suppose we're going to have to kick things up a notch, aren't we? You! The tall one! What's your name? My name is Zork. 
We're identical twins! It's true! We both look exactly the same! So, tell us, mighty and powerful darts! How are we going to crush our enemies today? Here's what we're gonna do, man. We're gonna find you gay, Mato. And we're gonna take his dick. What? His dick! You know, man, his dick! We all got dicks! You got a dick? I got a dick. Hell, I can whip out my dick right now and show you. No, no, no. Please don't. I'll I'll just trust that it's there. Uh, is he saying dick or dick? Eh, uh, sometimes it's best not to ask. Now it's crucial that you guys don't f*** this up. So I want you to close your eyes and imagine you're standing in front of you, Gamato. Okay, now what? Now, reach out. And grab his dick. Oh no. And pull it towards you. All oh, this can't be happening. And then I want you to cut his dick into three pieces. Mother of God. And each of you take one piece of his dick and travel to a different part of the planet. And then his dick will belong to us. Uh, is, is that it? Can we open our eyes now? No, man. There's one more part to the plan. Of course there is. Next. We gonna take... My Valentine's dick! Hey man, not on the rug, just talk about val my, my, val my, 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 my Valentine's dick! Ask yourself, what would killing me accomplish? Other than making me laugh like a maniac, not much, but it's enough. Wait, stop! Ah! <laughs> ah, that was very satisfying. You Killed Yugi. You betcha. And off screen, too. It's what he would have wanted. I can't believe it. He's really finally dead. Yes, and now, Bakora, you are my boyfriend, and we are going out ten times. What? Hey, Bakora! Zorkin Pals got renewed for a second season. We're back on TV! Hey, Bakora! You were just voted Villain of the Year. Also, everybody agrees that Florence is the manliest name ever. Way more manly than Dan Green. This is the happiest day of my life! Bakora! Hey, Bakora! Wake up, Bakora! What? Oh, Bollocks, was I dreaming all of that? All of what? You didn't transform into your evil counterpart and murder Yugi in cold blood recently, did you? Yes! Really? Wait. No, no, I did not. My bad. And I suppose Zork and Pals isn't really renewed either. Oh, that show is so 2006. Wonderful. So, Maddock, what's your new evil plan this time? We are going to sneak into Yugi's house under cover of darkness and rearrange his sock drawer. His entire collection of socks shall be thrown into disarray. His world will be plunged into chaos. Sock-related chaos. Yep. Same old, same old. Like a mouse! Hello? Yes, this is Yugimoto. You wanna take my what? No, that's disgusting! What do you mean does my Valentine have one? Grandpa's a drooling vegetable. And now thanks to Pegasus, he's lost his soul too. I've just gotta save him. But first I should probably figure out how to get down from here. Hello? A little help here? Anybody? Hey Joey, remember the time we became friends? Yeah. Give me back my Millennium Puzzle, you big dickweeds! Why? We're tormenting you! Actually, Joey, I was talking about the part after that. Oh. Oh yeah, now I remember. I mean it, guys! Give it back! This We're still, still tormenting, tormenting you! Man, good times. No, Joey, I mean the time where I saved you from that bully. Huh. No. No, I don't remember that. But I was all heroic and stuff. Hey. Remember the time me and Tristan took your Millennium Puzzle? Wow! Torment! Uh, remind me why we're friends again? If she's going blind, I might actually have a chance with her. We'll both do our best, Joey. You for your sister, and me for my grandpa. I'm not even sure why I bothered coming. Hey, look! I was right about the sun! Wow! An entire island all to ourselves. It's sort of like that book, Lord of the Flies. Only with a lot less subtext and a lot more card games. Was it that the movie with the evil ring and the hobbits? Why would any of those things be on this island, you idiot? I sure hope nobody notices we're trespassing. Hey you! The irony! Quit drawing attention to yourself, you barely qualify as a sidekick. Eh, chew. You wouldn't have caught that cold if it hadn't been for Weevil. 
Actually, I wouldn't have caught it if you hadn't been a naive moron and handed him your most powerful cards. No, it was definitely Weevil. It's sort of like the time Joey threw away a piece of your Millennium Puzzle. Yeah, except he forgave me for that. Right, Yuke? Sure, Joey. Sure. to friendship and compassion, experience is meaningless. Keep telling yourself that, hun. What are you, a virgin or something? Bitch, I'll scratch your eyes out! Would you guys stop talking about sex? I'm trying to ogle my cleavage here. That's it. I've had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane!